Welcome into the first ever John Boy Media Boxing Combine. We're here at Legendary Church Street Gym. I'm Dan Canobio. This is the champ, former kickboxing champ, former boxing champ, Chris Algieri. And today we've assembled four of John Boy Media's finest content creators, and we're putting them through the gauntlet today. An extensive boxing workout regimen. We're hitting the speed bag. We're hitting the heavy bag. Endurance. Jump rope. And at the end, deliberate as judges, me, you, and Ronnie, we will determine a lucky or maybe unlucky winner because that person will be getting in the ring with Chris, who I mentioned, a world champion for one round, three minutes. The stage is set. Let's meet our combatants. Dubbed an Italian-American thick boy with no limits, Jake Storielli grew up on the mean streets of Middlebury, Connecticut, selling in multiple sports while breaking tons of hearts in the process. Today he looks to combine those talents, get his hand raised, and bring the belt home to his dog Noodle. Justin Panic is better known as one half of the Talking Giants empire. But what the world doesn't know about him is he loves Shania Twain and as a kid did multiple book reports on Muhammad Ali. Standing at 5 foot 10 and 135 pounds, Paxton Elrod has the dimensions of a serious contender. Throwing the fact that after she knocks you out, her celebration dance will go viral on TikTok. There was a time in Joe's McFly's life when skateboarding was everything. Fast forward to today, it's anime and the New York Yankees in that order. Will we add boxing to that list? we we'll just have to wait and see. All right, it's time for our first activity of the day. Jump rope, let's get the blood flowing. Now Chris, jump rope's a big part of every boxer's training regimen. How about a little demonstration so they can uh, take note? Pick it up a notch. So the idea is that it's got to be continuous, right? So we got to see who's going to get the most revolutions continuously without messing up. First up, Jake Storial. Go, go, go. Whenever you're ready. Thank you. Okay. Off, off, to a, off to a shaky start. Interesting start. It's getting right. a lot of height. Yeah, very high. Getting... You hit nine there. You got 13 more seconds to beat nine. Two, four, five, six, seven. A lot of height. Eight, Very explosive. Eight, Ten. Eight, Eleven, Very explosive. 12, athlete. 13, 14, Four. 15. 15. All right. All right, first score. That's pretty good. 15 revolutions he had in the 30 second time frame. Great job for Jake. What do you think of that? I think he had some style points with the with the rolling of the side, but messed up a few times in the beginning. But once he got his rhythm, it wasn't bad. I mean, I, Curious technique in terms of how much height was involved. A lot of height. But uh, yeah, once he got going, I think 15 is a pretty good start. Pretty good score for Jake Sterrell. Let's move on to number two. All right, here's Justin Panic, one half of Talking Giants versus the world. He's going slow. I like that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Wow, look at him go. Look at that. That was 20. He's a you have 17 seconds. Okay, pants, he is a natural. He's going natural. with the the slower technique. Which yeah, what do you it's think of that? Slow and he's he's doing a lot of knee bending. He pulling the he's more pulling the feet back than actually coming so far off the ground. Very different technique than we saw with Jake in the first time. Oh, he's stomping now. Five. Wow. What do we get for the first one? 17. 17, 17 revolutions right for bat. Justin Pennick. That is a strong score. Number to beat is 17 here. Love well, the shirt. Might by have the way. a sleeper here. I would, I would definitely keep an eye on this one. I did see her before he got here. Oh, wow. Yeah, now she's got it. She's she got is a good in a rhythm good groove. Going. Good rhythm. Good, good tempo. Yeah. Notice, notice no bend in the knees. Mm, and not getting too high. Different technique than the other two. Oh, we got a champion here. Yeah. I, I, I knew it. I had right a out of the gate. I had a feeling. The focus in her eyes, too. Stone cold. God, I need to count here. Seven, six. She's going five, for a world record, Algeri. Yeah. This is unheard of. Two, Unbelievable! Four, nine, seven, seven. I got 60. 60 revolutions wow. in 30 seconds for Paxton Elrod. Unbelievable! Bravo! Unbelievable word from Paxton Elrod. 60 revolutions. Up next, Joe's McFly. No pressure, Joe. You gotta beat 60 revolutions. Joe's McFly here. Get the big man up. Yeah, pinstripe strong. He's on Twitch. 
I'm sure he has some type of stream here. Oh, okay, start over. Time is not at your. The hat, yes, the hat is. You know, is the big guy's. He's he's got the height, so he's got to deal with. He's got to make up a lot of time here. You know, he's got he's the, looking he's, at the wall. He's got the same size rope as the other guys, and I he's like, a much he's taller. He's got good technique. He does. He does. He, he's got a ten rhythm seconds. too. He's just ten seconds, sixty revolutions in ten seconds is going to be tough. You could be Floyd Mayweather. He ain't getting those numbers. Oh, it's not looking good. He's found the oh, rhythm there here. There we go. He just ran out of time. Late in the game. That is time. Seven revolutions for Joe's McFly after our first round here with the uh, jump rope competition. Obviously, Pax and Elrod came out jumping. 60 revolutions. Good God. Yeah, I mean, listen, I didn't expect as much from the big man. You know, weight, weight size matters. That's why there's weight classes in this sport. And, uh, you know, Paxson is much more nimble-footed than the other guys, and, and she showed that here. The women leading the charge. It's time to move on to activity number two. We're hitting the heavy bag, folks. <laughs> Heavy bag, Chris. Every boxer's best friend. I'm going to a little quick demonstration for our fans here. Show us what we should be looking for. So I want your hands in good position. You want your in a fighting stance and punching right from where you are to see who can get the most amount of punches in the 30-second time limit. All right, we're out to the heavy bag. Jake is up. Let's get into it. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. How many punches can you land in 30 seconds? Okay, with the hands wrap now, I got a lot. I got a lot real in here. What's the hand wraps came on here? It's Jake. They call him Rocky. Wow. All right. Ooh. Look at Kevin with the count. Nice. Jake is showing. Look nice. at that. Look there at that. Go. He's getting, he's getting yeah. low. A lot of arm punching, but speed looks good. Arm punching's fine here. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. That's a good point. Oh. <laughs> OK, yeah. This is this is this Burn is out, where, Jake. This is where the engine. Oh, oh he's now doing haymakers. Uppercut. Is that, is he tired when he's throwing the uppercut? I th yeah, you know, when you, when you see a guy holding and hitting, usually wow. he's tired. This 123 punches! 123! Strong opener. And we're off to the races. Okay, see? Here goes Penny. Oh my start. god, he's coming out blazing. Will he last one minute? He's got to be careful not to shoot his wad too early. Uh -huh. It seems like he's holding his breath, god. which is... A, he is holding his breath. Breathe, breathe. Wow, we're going to see some shades of red here. <laughs> He is really going at it. Yeah. Oh my goodness wow. gracious. Good push. Good push. Sell out, Penny. Sell out. This is impressive. Do it for Daniel Jones. Wow. Wow. Final salvo. Wow. Didn't slow down at Three, all. Two, oh my goodness. One, what a performance by Justin Pennick. 100, 143 for Justin Pennick, the clubhouse leader right now. Didn't breathe at all during it. No. Face turned all shades of red. Honestly, he didn't skip a beat at all. He, he, he stayed through. I was pretty impressed. Next up, Paxton Elrod. Here we go. Wow. Form. Great form. Determination in the eyes. She broke a nail earlier, and she's not letting that slow her down. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, best dance of the group so far. Oh, so mixing far. it up in the hooks. Mixing it up. All right. All right. Would you go for mixing up in the hooks because it's not a straight line? You know, I would because style points matter. That's right. You know, style points always always matter with us. We, we care about how you look. So That is a part of our, our judging criteria. It's not just rigid score. Coming in front. Here she comes. Finish strong. Style points were there. Nice. Bravo. 123. Bravo. So after it. And she broke a nail. Up next, Joe's McFly. Pinstripe strong. Got the glasses on. Oh my god, he's coming out. Ooh, ooh. Nice punch technique. Good power. He's too. moving Mike. Mike yeah. has physically moved. Big man's got some got some strength. Got some strength. Got some power. Listen, I'm putting strength into this too. It's Absolutely. not just punches landing, style points, strength. Good technique here. I like it. I like it. Left, oh, oh, a little bit stop. of movement. Okay, okay. Footwork is also something we're looking at too. Oh, now Good for your kids. Starting, to, starting to fatigue, starting to set in. Father of two. All right. Yes. Joe's McFly. 131 punches landed for Joe's McFly. Very Outstanding solid. all around. I think this was the activity where everyone shined. Wow. What a performance from Paxton on the jump. We saw Pennick on the heavy bag. They are the, the stars of the first day 
of the John Boy Media Boxing Combat. Oh, yeah. It wasn't even a competition today. I mean, Paxton blew us away. Her coordination was there. Uh, Panic. I mean, he showed some power. He was very impressive. I mean, the, the guy held his breath the entire time and still outpunched everybody on the circuit. So, impressive from both. Tune in next time when we do some endurance and we hit the speed bag. One step closer to finding out who's going to fight this guy right here. Yeah, fight. Fight's one word you could use.